Good evening, and welcome to another episode of Maths in an Empty Classroom with me, Mr Southern. This is part one of the second lesson on compound angle formulae, and in this lesson I'm going to be going through the first example of using the compound angle formulae to solve an equation. Uh, so what I have here is uh, I'm being asked to solve sine theta cos 23 minus cos theta sine 23 equals 0 0.8. Uh, let's just make that look separate from the title, there we go. Uh, so, um, what I have to do is I have to realise, by looking at this form that the equation is given in, that this is one of the compound angle identities. Uh, so, uh, I've got sine, cos, cos, sine. So it's going to be sine A, cos B, cos A, sine B and it's the minus in the middle there. Uh, and that tells me that the identity that I'm using is sine of A minus B. So I've looked at the form of the equation. I've realized it's a compound angle identity. It's the sine compound angle identity. And I've realized that it's sine A minus B because it's the minus in between the two terms. Now what you'll notice is that I've got A wherever I've written uh, theta. Got a matched with theta there and there, and I've got b matched with 23 there and there. And what that means that I'm able to do is to rewrite this original equation as sine, and then in the bracket, theta minus 23 equals 0 0.8. And then from there, it becomes a remarkably straightforward trig equation that you've been solving in the first year of your A level standing on your head. So let's solve it through then. Sine in a bracket, theta minus 23 equals 0 0.8. Sine inverse of 0 0.8 uh, on the calculator, making sure of course that you're in degrees mode, uh, comes out as 53.13. Um, and I know by now that my second solution for sine is 180 minus my principal solution here. So that's going to be 126.86. I've just got to be careful here because that isn't theta, that's the value of theta minus 23. So I just need to take the time to write that theta minus 23 degrees is 53.13 and 126.86. And by adding 23 uh, to both sides of my equation, uh, it gives me that theta is 76.1 degrees to one decimal place and adding 23 to this one, uh, 149.9 <coughs> degrees, again, to one decimal place. So the actual solving the trigonometry bit of this question wasn't that difficult. The tricky bit at the start was to realise that what we had here was a compound angle sine identity and we could use our knowledge of that to form a much simpler equation to solve. And then that was job done. I'll see you in the next video.